Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course uh, today we're looking at the types of tissues okay types of tissues all right do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscription is free so click on that red subscribe button below this video and that is all all right and of course it's, it is to send notification to your phone whenever we release a new episode and also do not forget to, uh, to subscribe and do not forget to keep sharing our videos all right so also do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jam app it is all you need to succeed in your exam has all the past questions in one app question sad feature a classroom that has all the textbook that you need that are structured lecture notes that are structured according to the jam syllabus okay so you don't need to bother about textbooks also mock challenge every saturday all right all this and more for just a small token all right so please uh focus on passing your exam at once all right that's my passionate my passionate plea to you focus on passing your exam at once all right you don't want to write jam twice it's not nice at all all right and as you study diligently you will pass you will pla you will in fact <laughs> you know i say it's plus you will pass you will pass beyond your imagination in the name of jesus if i be a man of god i pray for you all right so let us uh, go to the book quickly as we look at the types of tissues okay there are four main types of tissues i want to discuss because one we have what's the epithelia tissue all right then we'll talk about the connective tissues connective tissues all right, then we'll talk about the muscle tissues. And then lastly, we'll talk about the nervous tissues. All right, so these are the four main types of tissues we are going to be looking at. Okay, the epithelial tissues, all right, the connective tissues, and then what we'll look at the muscle tissues, then we'll look at what the nervous what tissues. All right, so very, very easy. Okay, so let us begin with the epithelial what tissues. These epithelial tissues are widespread throughout the body. They are widespread throughout the whole body, the epithelial tissues. Okay, looking at the epithelial, epithelial tissues. Okay, these tissues, they are widespread throughout the whole body. Okay, we say they are what? Widespread, widespread throughout the body. Okay, they are widespread throughout the body, like your skin. Okay, it's an epithelial or tissue. Okay, right? So also your, your the reproductive tract. Okay, even what the... Uh, uh, the the airway, okay. The airway also is also what uh, an epithelial or tissues, okay. So they are widespread throughout what the body. They are widespread throughout the what the body, and they form what coverings, okay. They form coverings. They form coverings of all surfaces, okay. They form coverings of all surfaces, even line body cavities, line body cavities and hollow organs okay so these are what these are epithelial or tissues okay they are what widespread throughout the body they are widespread throughout the body they form coverings of all surfaces okay line body cavities line body this is, this is cavities please cavities cavities line body cavities all right and what and hollow organs okay examples of this you see like surfaces of a skin surfaces surfaces of the skin okay all right another example is what the reproductive tract the reproductive reproductive tract okay tract sorry then also the airway all right, the airway, even the lining of what of the digestive tract, the lining, the lining, the lining of the digestive, digestive or tract. Okay, also it's what an example of what of an epithelial what tissue, the inner lining of the digestive tract. Okay, the surfaces of the skin, the reproductive tract, the the uh, um, the airway. This is airway. Okay, the airways. The airways, then the inner lining or digestive or tract. Okay, these are all examples of what of epithelial or tissues. Okay, they are found. They are found widespread throughout the body. They form coverings of all surfaces, line body cavities, and hollow organs. All right. So 
Now, I haven't known this. Let's go to the next one, connective tissues. By the word connective, that means what they, they, they connect what tissues together. Okay? We say what? It supports and binds other tissues. Connective tissues supports and binds other tissues. The word they support and bind other tissues. Let's look at connective tissues. Okay? Connective tissue, they support and bind other tissues. Okay, by the word from the word connective self, you're supposed to know, you're supposed to know, see which indeed they connect and bind other tissues together. So we have connective tissues, connective tissues. Okay, this one's what they, they support and bind other tissues, other tissues. In the body, okay, they support and bind other tissues in the body, okay. These are what connective tissues. They support and bind other tissues in the body. Example, example is what adipose. Examples, examples are, are what adipose. Okay, we have cartilage. Okay, we have cartilage. We have bone. We have blood. And lymph. Okay, all these ones they are examples of what of connective for tissues. Okay, they support and bind other tissues in the body. Connective tissue, they support and bind other tissues in the body. Examples are adipose, cartilage, bone, blood, and lymph. Now, these adipose tissues, this you know, this adipose A D I P O S E. Okay, you know what adipose are right? They are body fats. This one are what. They are all their body with fat. This one are found throughout your body. Okay, so uh, the function of connective tissue to, to support and bind other tissues in the body. Okay, examples of course are this adipose that we are seeing, the cartilage. Okay, the bone. All right, the blood and the leaf. It provides shape to different organs. The function is to provide shape to different organs in the body and makes those organs to maintain their position. Okay, they are, they are, it works to give shape. Okay, that function, let me just add that to what? They give shape to what different organs in the body and to help them to maintain their position. They give shape, shape to what different organs, different organs in the body and help those organs and help them, them to maintain their position. Because if without connective tissue, some of you that used to drink gari anyhow, okay, you don't wake up and you see that your liver is now in your eye. Eh? You wake up and <laughs> uh, you wake up and see that the by you swallowed is now in your is now in your left ear. Okay, so they help what organs to what to stay in the to maintain their positions. Okay, so those are what connective tissues. There are three types of connective tissues. Okay, three types of connective tissue. Take note of them. Okay, we have number one. We have the fluid fluid connective tissue. Let me just take fluid CT, connective tissue. Then we'll have fibrous, fibrous connective tissue. Then number three, we have skeletal, skeletal or CT. Okay, so there are three types of what? connective tissues we have. We have the fluid connective tissue, we have the fibrous connective tissue, we have the skeletal connective uh, um, connective or tissue. So I'm not going to what, double into them, okay? We're still going to meet them in the future. All right, so now let's go on to the next one, which is, of course, the muscle tissue. The muscle tissue. Please, if you have not liked this video by any reason, that in way they do no good. They do it no good. All right, please just click on that like button. Under this video, that hand that looks like this, eh? just click on the like button, all right? And then, of course, uh, uh, to make other students to easily find this video and learn. All right, okay? so we'll now move to the what? To muscle tissue. Muscle tissue. This one, they are what? They are the what? Those soft what? Tissues. The soft tissues that make up different types of muscles, that make up different types of muscles in most animals and give the ability of muscles and give the ability of muscles to contract okay to contract so muscle tissues that those soft tissues that make up the different types of muscles in most animals okay and give them what the ability to 
contract. It gives them, it gives them those, it gives those, those muscles the ability to what to contract. Okay, those are muscle tissues. Okay, the soft tissues that make up different types of what muscles in most animals and give the ability of muscles to contract. Also, there are also three types of what muscle tissues we encounter. One is what is skeletal, skeletal muscle tissue, skeletal muscle tissue. Let me say MT. Also, we also have the visceral muscle tissue. We have viscera, uh, muscle tissue. Uh, the last one, uh, uh, the last one is uh, cardiac muscle tissue. We also have what cardiac muscle tissue. All right. So these are the three types of muscle tissue we will encounter. Right? Three types of muscle tissue we encounter: skeletal muscle tissue, viscera muscle tissue, and cardiac muscle tissues okay all right so this is what muscle tissue the soft tissue that make up different types of muscles in most animals and give them the ability to what to contract okay then we have the skeletal muscle tissue we have the viscera muscle tissue and the cardiac muscle tissue now we'll go to the last okay the last tissue we're discussing which is what the nervous was uh tissue the nervous tissue which helps uh in what in sensory okay helps us what to sense s e n S E okay helps in what sensory perception helps in what in excretion helps in what filtration and other metabolic activities okay and of course this nervous one is found in what in the brain okay it's found in the brain all right so let's look at what the nervous tissue okay this one is found in the brain found in the brain spina cord and nerves okay this is where this nervous tissue functions okay in the brain the spinal cord and the nerves all right then of course in the central nervous system okay mostly in the brain in the periphery then we have in the peripheral or nervous system also okay so the nervous tissues are found what in the brain in the spinal cord and the nerves and they are responsible it is responsible responsible for controlling activities of the body. Okay, the nervous tissue is responsible for controlling activities of the body. They are responsible for controlling activities of the body. For example, responding to stimuli. Somebody pinch you now. Hey. Okay. Uh, so that's what responsible to stimulus. Okay. So you feel it. You you you, you they, when you someone touches you, you know self. Okay. So it's also on the nervous tissues. Okay. E.g. examples of those uh, uh, activities is what responding, responding, respond, resp okay, rest. Responding to stimulus, okay, and also they play a major role in emotions. They play a major role in emotions. All right. They also play a major role in a memory, in memory, that is memory, and reasoning. Okay, so those are what that is all the nervous or tissue. Okay, they are found in the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. All right, and of course, it is responsible for controlling activities of the body, e.g., responding to stimulus. Okay, and they also play a major role in emotions, memory, and reasoning. Okay, so those are the four types of what of uh tissues we have discussed, uh, discussed today the epithelia. This let us go over them again the epithelia. All right, this one that I found round, they are found all over our body. All right, then of course we have what the uh, connective, these are the connective or uh, connect or tissues. Okay, together they also have of course the muscle. All right, they also have what the nervous, nervous tissue. Okay, these are the four types of tissue we have all discovered was or discussed today. All right, so please put them at the back of your mind. Study them again, go over the class, all right, in case you don't understand any part and you see that you are doing yourself a lot of good, all right? So please download the app, activate and start what studying today. My name is Master T. I'll see you in the next episode.